Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Key Vault. So Azure Key Vault helps you safeguard cryptographic keys and other secrets used by cloud apps and services. And so within Key Vault, uh, it has a bunch of uh, functionality in it. So one thing it can do is manage your secrets. So store, uh, uh, store and tightly control access to tokens, passwords, certificates, API keys, and other secrets. It also has key management. So it, it can create and control encryption keys used to encrypt your data. Then we have certificate management. So easily provision, manage, and deploy public and private SSL certificates for use with Azure and internal connected resources. Uh, and then it also is a hardware security module. So secrets and keys can be protected either by software or FIPS 142 or 140-2 level two validated HSM. I told you uh, that we would be talking about FIPS again and we are right now. So to understand uh, um, uh, HSM, the last thing we're talking about, which stands for a hardware security module, it's a piece of hardware designed to st store your encryption keys. And it literally looks like something like that. So. Um, uh, Azure would have bought one of these or uh, uh, tons of these, and that is what is storing your cryptographic keys. And this um, piece of hardware is special because uh, when you store keys on it, they're stored in memory, meaning that they're not written to disk. If that thing shuts down, uh, the, the keys are gone and nobody can steal your data. It's just a security measure. And that security measure has to do with FIPS. Okay, so FIPS 140-2 is a US and Canadian government standard that specifies the security requirements for cryptographic modules to protect sensitive information. So for HSMs that are multi-tenant, they're generally gonna be 140-2 compliant. Multi-tenant meaning that, um, that there's more than one customer that is using that piece, uh, piece of hardware, but they're virtually isolated from each other. Uh, and then if you have a single tenant HSM, they're generally going to be FIPS 140-3 compliant. So a single customer on a dedicated HSM. Um, it's better to be FIPS 140-3 compliant, um, but FIPS 140-2 is pretty good for most people. So there you go.